Tally Bandit knows slightly high. Frank Tally, Frank. this is. Full power well. Yeah. One left. I'm not gonna swear. Oh, way late on the lead turn. You clear, Fip? Dropping the nose. You're clear, Fip. Roger. Reversing. You see him? Yes. Roger that, he's above. Turning in. It's going vertical. Fizz Tally. He's running downhill now. How many do you days? Check. He's off. Back down here. Talk about this one. Can't do a uh, guys vertical of okay in your bolt. What's your opinion on that fight? Mine? Mm-hmm. I don't really have one. I, we kept trying to climb up to you. We should have separated, let you pick one of us. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to break when you make a committal to us, but then after that, we should be, the other guy should be engaging. Okay, well, here let's go back to some 1v1. Uh, either one of you guys ever had any sort of academics on energy fighting and attacks from a high position? Oh, sure. How do you attack a bandit that's lower than you? Well, what boom I and zoom. Die. Well, okay, you say boom and zoom. What do you mean boom and zoom? Uh, you dive down, you take your shot. If you get it, fine. If you don't, you pull back up. Yeah, well, the, the basics of, of boom and zoom energy attacks is you want to be positioned right over the bandit for the attack because roll rate beats his turn rate with his G-force. So uh, a hard a hard breaking bandit, um, you can easily track his hard break if you're straight vertical down, coming down on it. So 
So we should have extended away from your the, vertical yeah. to make you uh, have to exactly have more of a horizontal component in. Yeah, the place you don't want to be with a high bandit is underneath him. And gotcha. both of you kept returning to that position in an, an attempt <laughs> to get up to me. So I was just going straight vertical, hammerheading, coming back down, and I got guns passes on both of you. I killed Days. I should have killed. I, I killed Fepper. I should have killed Days twice, but like, I don't know why I missed. It's because I'm slippery that way. Yeah, maybe. I felt yeah that we were disorganized. So I don't know if you ever noticed um, when I'm oh, leading. Let's do that again. We will, but. When I'm leading a flight and there are high bandits, I always turn my tail to them. Okay. Yeah, that's what we should have done. That's why I said we should have tried to extend, which make him equalize. Yeah, and the only way the only way he can catch you is to dive. You know, he can keep his altitude, but he won't close the distance, so he has to dive. So if if he wants to shoot you, he's going to have to dive to you and and equalize the energy states. He has to descend, which gives him less potential energy the lower he descends. So High bandit, you know, pick an egress, hit the egress and reform, and if he attacks, then you react. But if you keep finding, if you keep flying right underneath him, he's just going to beat you to death. Yeah, and we kept surfing right underneath where oh, you yeah. were. So. Yeah, yeah. All I all I did was a series of straight up and straight down. Okay. The fight, the fight yeah. stayed in the same spot, and you'll see that when I post the film. <laughs> 